Are you ready to embark on an exciting journey of knowledge, exploration, and growth that we are thrilled to introduce to you the all new Learn with Devil Online Content Library and e-commerce website. Get ready to indulge in a vast array of educational content designed to ignite your curiosity enhance your skills and sashing your thirst for learning. Our vision at Learn with Devil is to create an inclusive and accessible platform where knowledge seekers of all ages and backgrounds can access premium educational resources conveniently and effortlessly. Whether you're a student looking to excel academically, Welcome to my YouTube channel and this tutorial bid online library e-commerce website. Firstly, Create a folder and open it in your in this VS Code free folders HTML file and access file. Add basic format HTML and click live for see lettuce to pay in your project. Let's start it. Add comment for each updated. Link up style, access file and HTML. Search Google Fonts on your browser and choose which font you want to add your website. Here I choose Notice Serif Fonts, Poppins and Robo Fonts. Import all fonts and enter your style access fonts. Now change the title. Right section get her dot class name get her header two. Library, this is a selector that targets an new element with the id library. It's our unique identifiers for new elements, and they allow us to apply specific styles to individual elements. Display flex, this property sets the display mode of the library element to flex. Flexbox is a loud model inks that allows you to create flexible and responsive layouts. By setting this property, the children of the library element will be laid out in a flex container. Justify Content Center. This property is used to align the items within the flex container horizontally. Setting it to center means that the items inside the library elements will be centered along the main axis horizontally. Background Color Akui. This property sets the background color of the library element to Akui. Akui is a named color in representing a shade of light blue green. Font size. 25 bricks. This property sets the font size of the H1 element to 25 pixels. Font family, Roboto. This property sets the font family of the H1 element to Roboto. Roboto is a popular font commonly used for web design due to its readability and versatility. Font weight 300x. This property sets the font weight of the H1 element to 300. The font weight specifies how thick or thin the characters in the font should be. A value of 300 is usually a lighter font weight compared to the default font weight of 400. Background color, Okumuri. This property sets the background color of the library element to Okumuri. 
Purple Rain is a main color ace, representing a shade of light blue green, border radius. 20 x This property rounds the corners of the library element, giving it a border radius of 20 pixels. As a result, the element will have a rounded appearance. Library H1. This is a selector that targets the H1 element that is a descendant of the library element. Header class navbar. This creates a header element with the class navbar. The header is typically used to represent a container for introductory content or navigation links on a web page. H1 and the H1. This is an H1 heading element that contains the text on it. The H1 element is often used to represent the main heading or title of a page. Nav class nav content. This creates a navigation element with the class nav content. The navigation element is used to define a container for navigation links. All class first owl. This creates an unordered list owl. Element with the class first owl. Unordered lists are used to represent lists of items where the order of items does not matter. We have home homo. This creates a list item we. Element containing a hyperlink anchor. Element A. The hyperlink has a destination home. And the anchor text is home. Leah Ref Books Book Series. This is another list item with a hyperlink. The anchor text is books. And the destination is books. Leah Ref Support Support Daily. This is the last list item with a hyperlink. The anchor text is support. And the destination is supports. Old class second old. This creates another unordered list element with the class second old. Leah Ref Account Daily. This is a list item with a hyperlink. The anchor text is account, but the destination is empty. This means that the link may not have a specific destination or is used for JavaScript interactions. Leah Ref Logilary. This is the last list item with a hyperlink. The anchor text is local, and the destination is also empty. Navbar. This styles the navigation bar container element. The styles include display, flex. The navigation bar is set to use flexbox for its layout, allowing the child elements to be aligned and spaced accordingly. Justify content, space around. The child elements inside the navigation bar will be evenly spaced with equal space around them, creating an evenly distributed layout. Background color: 218, 230. 241. The background color of the navigation bar is set to a light blue shade using the values. Border radius. 20 The border radius property rounds the corners of the navigation bar, giving it a slightly rounded appearance. Box shadow. 0 x 12 x 14 x 0 x 65. 62. 101. 0.30. This adds a subtle box shadow to the navigation bar, creating a visual depth effect. Nav content, this styles the container for the navigation content. The styles include display, flex. The navigation content is set to use flexbox for its layout. Justify content, space between. The child elements inside the nav content will be evenly spaced with equal space between them, pushing them to the left and right edges of the container. Padding right, 50 x add some right padding to the nav content container, creating space between the content and the right edge of the container. Gap 50.5 rem. This sets the gap between the child elements inside the map content container. The large gap value of 50.5 rem creates a significant space between the elements. Font family robot. The font family of the text inside map content is set to robot. Margin left 30x. Add some left margin to the map content container, creating space between the content and the left edge of the container.
first O and second O. These styles define the unordered list elements inside the navigation content. Both lists have similar styles, display, flex. The list items will be displayed in a horizontal layout. List style type, now remove the default bullet points from the list items. Gap, 40x, sets the gap between the list items to create spacing between them. Padding, 20x, add some padding around the list items, creating space between the content and the edges. First hole and second hole. These styles define the anchor elements links inside the list items. Color, black, sets the text color of the links to black. Font weight, bold, makes the link text bold. Text decoration, none, removes the underline from the links, removing the default link appearance. The scope creates a navigation bar with evenly spaced navigation items, styled with a light blue background, rounded corners, and a subtle box shadow. The navigation items are displayed in two lists, and the links inside them have a bold font and no underlines.
section it holds. This creates a section element with the head hole. The section represents the block of content on the web page and can be used to divide the page into logical parts. The class first content. This creates a div element with the class first content. The div acts as a container for the content within the home section. The class first content in. This creates another div element with the class first content in. This div is likely used to contain an image related to the content. Insert assets and vectors in alt. This is an image element in with the source pointing to the assets and vectors. The alt attribute provides alternative text for the image, which is displayed if the image fails to load or for accessibility purposes. Div class second content. This creates a div element with the class second content. This div serves as a container for the second part of the content. H2 class second content title solve your daily life for problems in one minute H2. This is an H2 heading element with the class second content title. It contains the text solve your daily life problems in one minute. The attack inside the heading creates a line break, resulting in the text appearing on two lines. All class second content text. This creates an unordered list of element with the class second content text. The list will likely contain bullet pointed information. Deeper of chapter with details illustrations. Me. This is a list item Me. with the text 12 chapter with details illustrations. Learn from the expert with 24 years experience doing. This is another list item with the text learn from the expert with 24 years experience. The audio version is included with the purchasing. This is the last list item with the text audio version is included with the purchase. But in class second content you get this book. Starts from $25 but this creates a button element with the class second content book. And the text get this book starts from $25. The button likely triggers an action will click. Right. In class second content text when interested in a free chapter, stand it is now span of P. This is a paragraph element P with the class second content text 1. It contains the text interested in a free chapter and an in span element with the text get it now. The span element might be used to apply different styles or behaviors to the get it now text. Provide little code creates a home section with two main content areas. 
The first content area includes an image, while the second content area has a heading, a list of forms, a button and a paragraph with an in-ring link heading now. The content appears to be related to a book or a product, likely promoting its features and encouraging users to take action. The provide more code creates a home section with two main content areas. The first content area includes an image, while the second content area has a heading, a list of points, a button and a paragraph with an in link get it now. The content appears to be related to a book or a product, likely promoting its features and encouraging users to take action. Home, the style the home section element, which likely represents the home section of a webpage. Margin top 70 ups has a top margin of 70 pixels to create space between the section and the content above it. Home first content. This styles the first content element that is a child of the home section. Max width 1150x inform. Set some maximum width of 1150 pixels for the first content element, and the important flag is used to override any conflicting rules. Padding 20x. Adds 20 pixels of padding to the first content element, creating space between the content and the container's edges. Margin zero of the report. Centers the first content element horizontally using other margin and the important flag ensures that it takes precedence over other moves. Display Flex sets the display motor and first content to flex, allowing the child elements to be flex items. Justify content space between horizontally distributes the child elements inside first content, leaving it. Own first content in in. This styles the in element inside first content in class. With 250 apps, set the width of the image to 250 pixels. Own second content. This styles the second content element inside the home section. Max width 570 apps, sets a maximum width of 570 pixels for the second content element. Flex Go 1 allows second content to grow and occupy the remaining available space within the flex. Home second content title. This styles the heading element H2 inside second content. Color 19191B. Set the text color to a dark grayish color 19191B. Font family Roboto Sans Serif. Set the font family to Roboto. Or a full max Sans Serif font with Roboto is not available. Font size 50x. Set the font size to 50 pixels. Font weight 500 x Sets the font weight to 500, semi-bold. Own second content text. This styles the unordered list old. Inside second content, color 19191B. 
Since the text code to a dark gray sky at 19,191B, font family, no dessert. Sets the font family to no dessert. Font size, 20x. Sets the font size to 20 pixels. Font weight holder. Sets the font weight to holder. For stronger emphasis, letter spacing. 0.657x sets the letter spacing to 0.657 pixels, potentially adjusting the space between characters. List style type, none. Remove the default bullet points from the list items. List style image, girl, and light text. Sets a custom image light text as the list icon marker. List style position, inside. Places the list icon marker inside the list item content box. Margin top 50x at the top margin of 50 pixels to create space between the list and the previous content. Only second content text me not first child. This styles the list items read inside second content text, excluding the first list item. Margin top, 10 x adds a top margin of 10 pixels to create space between subsequent list items. Haru second content bin. This styles the button element inside second content. Margin drop, 45x. Has a top margin of 45 pixels to create space between the button and the previous content. Font size, 20x. Sets the font size of the button to 20 pixels. Padding, 018x. Adds horizontal padding of 18 pixels to the button. Height, 50x. Sets the height of the button to 50 pixels. Border radius, 10x. Rounds the corners of the button with a border radius of 10 pixels. Background color, C31 or 12. Sets the background color of the button to a specific shade. You see 31012. Color, if. Sets the text color of the button to white. Font weight, 500. Sets the font weight of the button text to 500. Semi bold. Border, 0. Removes the default border of the button. Transition duration, 0.4. Sets the transition duration for smooth changes on hover. Box shadow, 0x12x14x0x over 65, 62, 101, 0 0.30. Adds a subtle box shadow to the button for a visual effect. Home second content from hover. This styles the button on hover when the cursor is over the button. 
background color echo. Changes the background color of the button to echo. A light blue green color, color C31 equal. Changes the text color of the button to the initial shade C31 equal. Second content text one. This styles the paragraph element. Second content text one. Inside second content. Color 19191B. Set the text color to a dark grayish color and 19191B. Font size 20 x Set the font size to 20 pixels. Margin top 13 x at the top margin of 13 pixels to create space between the paragraph and the previous content. Font family poppins. Set the font family to poppins. Home second content text one span. This styles the span element inside second content text one. Color 5454B. Sets the text color of the span to a specific shade 5454B4. Like here a purple or blue color. 